computers, 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 computers are hard. Okay. So once we've created the folders, next step is to put stuff in the folders automatically. And one of the nice things to do there is use Doctopus. Now, what's really nice about this is that once you've created them, that you're sharing with them, you basically have everything handed in before you start. Any changes they make will be marked when you take a look at all the different things. But we'll install this. It takes a little bit. It takes a little bit. Uh, but don't install it two times. Don't stop and then do it again unless you've checked the uh, script manager and made sure there's nothing else there. Okay, so we authorize it. We can run the script. Yeah, you want to make sure you don't install the same script several times because that will just make it work poorly. Okay. Okay, so we initialize it. Set up sharing basics. Now, you can tip, pick different types. Project groups, everyone has you know groups, individual, all the same. You can have differentiated for different uh, work for different people. And you can also have like same everybody working on the same thing, like a big wiki. And you can choose the access level. Um, okay, now, last thing I've done, I've, did, I've changed it to individual folders. Okay, I've clicked individual folders. That made a new column. Now what I have to do is put the uh, identifying folder key okay, from, uh, and I check which cop documents I'm going to copy. I have a, a folder that has the templates, and I just picked a, a drawing that I'm going to sort of show how to share. So this would normally be sort of the template for their work that they could work within. Now um, I have to make the folder keys. How do I do that? Okay, let's take a look. We're going to go normally into my GDocs 101 class, the folder. So I need to fill those in. So I'd go into recent, go GDocs 101, student drop boxes. And then I would take one of the drop boxes and I would just double click, click, click on that last uh, last part of it. Okay, now once I've double clicked on that, I've copied it, control C, and I paste it, control V. That's a document I don't need anything for. That's why I made my random names. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look here. Um, so I take Curtis, I go into fictional Curtis's uh, uh, doc, and I just I just click on that control C paste control V now you can't really they look like the same thing let's actually just make that a little bit bigger so you can sort of see that they are in fact different and I'm not you know I'm gonna put the same a different different thing in the same folder twice okay so is that that's pretty clear no I'll do it one more time Go into Curtis Webster. This part is time consuming, but you'll only ever have to do it once per class. Okay? And then it's done forever. Okay, so take Martin's blah 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 blah. Da da da. I put her in. Click, paste. There we go. And I would I just did this fast so I don't waste too much of your time. But that is, it's a time waster at the beginning. But you'll he'll save you time at the end. Okay, so now I'm gonna say say I'm gonna share, choose what to copy and distribute. Now, once again, you only ever have to do this once. Now, how do you want the files named? I'll use the student's first name. So I control C, control V that. Student's last name, control C, control V, and. Now I'll also call it Periscope. So it'll be like uh, Martin Wall Periscope or whatever. Okay. So that's done. Now I'm already creating a folder 
I've already selected the folder, really. I was just kind of curious what happens if I create drawing one. I wonder if it'll make another folder. I think it won't. But I'll try it. Okay. Here I could notify the document editors. I won't because nobody's real. So I'll just save settings. Until I've chosen a file folder, I can't save settings. Now I can run this and share it. Okay, so I'm running it. Now while this is going on, uh, what, is, what does this mean? You own the documents. This takes a while. Uh, you own the documents so you can stop them at a certain point and say here's the cutoff date. There's a few more things. You can do that within Doctopus um, under sharing settings uh, uh, afterwards, administrating it. And it's uh, really quite uh, easy to do. So, because you own these and you share, you know, you can see, you also see when you see the folder what's bold. Now, these aren't shared because they're not real emails, okay, which is why I didn't notify them. Okay. Anything that's bolded has been changed. So, you can see who's been working, who hasn't been working directly just by looking at that. So, now, we go to Google Docs 101, student drop boxes, and they should all have... Should I'll have, oopsie, I think I put an URL, I'll fix that. I put a wrong URL there. Uh, we'll fix that here. The rest of them look all great. Okay, good. Good. Oh, no, that's okay. So, I think we're done. Computers, 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 computers are hard.